Bro, we ain't expect to see you again today, man. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, man. I told y'all, I didn't promise you. I think a boxing talk, man. So we gonna talk about that. I told y'all, man, I had one of these things for y'all the other day, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yesterday. Oh, it was a good one. About an hour and something long. But what I didn't notice was uh, my phone kept doing, but long story short, man, it broke my hour and about eight minute video up to about uh, 17, 12 minute videos, man. I wasn't finna do all that. So I just erased them, you know what I'm talking about? And um, just boxing talk, man, you know what I'm talking about? They say, bro, what you know about boxing? Oh, man, a little bit. I told you, uh, I was saying in my video yesterday. Uh, because I'm not, like, no big fan of women's boxing, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I just don't follow women's boxing like that. I wouldn't just know everything about women's boxing. But I've seen some of the few uh, good ones come around here, you know what I'm talking about? But my partner was asking me, uh, he was talking about uh, Clarissa Shields or something. It wasn't like we went in the end depth. He was just saying, what did I think about it? And, uh. I just, I don't know if it's because you black or whatever. Uh, I just think if you black, bro, you're not going to get the credit you ever deserve. I don't. I think if you do something when you black and somebody else do the same thing, another race or something, I think they're going to get a, a billion times more credit than you for the same stuff. I just do. Because I'm pretty sure, I know for a fact, bro. I can't remember. I want to say her name was Chrissy. I want to say Chrissy Martin or something like that. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The, uh, she was before Layla Ali a little bit. She was the big white butch, you know what I'm talking about, that was knocking everybody out uh, heavyweight. She ended up killing her husband or something. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to say right, right there, too, man. You notice how every time when somebody killed, no matter what race they is, man, when somebody killed the dude, when somebody killed their husband or something, their boyfriend or something, do you notice how the broad always say he was abusive? You know what I'm talking about? Everybody on the scene killed their spouse. <laughs> If it was a bitch, any bitch I ever seen kill a nigga, bro. They said the nigga was abusive. I, I don't know, bro. I just don't know, man. I just seen everybody use that one. The moment they pop a nigga or something, they always say the nigga was abusive. He was beating, you know what I'm talking about? And in some of them cases, I guess it is true, but, bro, some of them cases, if you ever look, some of them bitches be getting uh, the gavel. If you ever look, it don't be no, because uh, you know, if like uh, leading up to abuse, you normally got the police call, domestic violence, you know what I'm talking about? But it wasn't no reports. But I just noticed every time a bitch knock a nigga down, they say that nigga was abusive. That's their excuse. Y'all watch out. But uh, I think I'm confident if that bitch right there had did the same thing Clarissa Shields would do, man, that bitch would have been, uh, man, I promise you, bro, that bitch would have surpassed Mike Tyson and Sugar Ray Leonard in them, bro. That bitch would have passed Canelo. That bitch would have just been... She would have been uh, a white person, bro, did the same thing with the same accolades, bro. They, they would have surpassed Mayweather, Muhammad Ali. They would have, they would have just surpassed them, bro. I ain't bullshitting with you. It's just, I think that is just that she's uh, black. Because you notice, like her, they don't even bring up her medals and shit. I guess uh, Lomo Gold Medal is the only one that counts. <laughs> he also say how the comic book, look. Because boxing fans have got just like the rest of the world, just little kid shit. You know what I'm talking about? Just a bunch of little kid shit, bruh. I ain't bullshitting with you. And the boxing fans is just like the equivalent of the motherfucking the way it is in the world now, bro. We all branch off into these little biased-ass groups. You know what I'm talking about? And it, it, it's just funny. But, uh, like I said, I think of uh, Clarissa Shields was any other kind of, uh, is it intensity? Y'all know how bruh is with his vocabulary. I think they would have been, uh, she would have surpassed Mike Tyson, bruh, with all them accolades. But the thing that got me about that, because as soon as she won, bro, the first thing I seen, I didn't even see a motherfucker congratulate her or nothing. I seen a motherfucker say she was on steroids. And I'm like, God damn, bro, the black people. And the same motherfuckers, <laughs> like, y'all crazy, bro. You know what I'm talking about? And the same motherfuckers who throw them out, them, them, uh, throw that shit out there, bro, be the same ones defending Ryan Garcia. That shit just crazy. We just, <laughs> we pick and choose. I told you, it's boxing fans, bro. We ain't got, uh, we just done separated each other into these little bias-ass groups, you know what I'm talking about, where you just throw salt on the next motherfucker fighter, the next fan's fighter. But I seen the motherfucker talking about she was off steroids, bro, and that's just crazy, folks. That lady ain't got you no know, dirty tests or nothing like that, bro, for, the, for you just to speculate some shit like that. Then for the motherfucker who was actually caught uh, pop dirty, make up the excuses. 
We crazy, bro. Especially uh, us covering each other. We crazy as fuck with that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we funny as shit with that shit. I just like I seen a motherfucker do it. I know y'all seen this video. I ain't even click on that shit, man. I didn't. I didn't even want to hear because that shit just it, it just looked it. I know y'all seen this video though. It said the same energy, uh, keep the same energy or something like that. And they was talking. They was. I guess they was. I didn't even read it, so I don't want to criticize them people video because I ain't even watched the video. So I, I I don't know what was even said in the video. So I don't want to come up here and blast the video. I just tell you the way that I took it. I that's why I didn't even look at that shit. I guess. But I don't know, you know what I'm talking about? I'm just telling you the way I took it. That's why I didn't even want to tap on that motherfucker. But I guess they was insinuating that uh, uh, Boots was running from Blair Cobb. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Now, that might not even been what the video was about. I, once again, I didn't click on the video. You know what I'm talking about? But that's just how I took it. I took it as they were saying, like, Boots was trying to duck Blair Cobb. And I just say, man, we need to quit. <laughs> we need to quit, bro. And, I, and I'm just thinking to myself, so I guess Boots trying to <laughs> duck Blair Cobb. Like, Blair Cobb, look. <laughs> And Blair Cobb might get in there and do his thing, man. I'm just saying, man. You you didn't say he was trying to duck Errol Spencer. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Victor Ortiz, somebody that. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga said Blair Cobb, bro. That shit was funny as shit, bro. I ain't bullshitting with you. And I'm just saying, where Boots at? Like, what the nigga, what? Blair Cobb supposed to be with a uh, tune up for Terrence Crawford? <laughs> <laughs> man, we funny as a motherfucker out here, blood. I ain't bullshit with you. We funny as a motherfucker out here, blood. I ain't bullshit with you. But you titled to your own opinion. I ain't laughing at your opinion, man. But like, it's that shit like there, man. I told you this whole world ain't got like little kids, bro. And we just be sitting around this motherfucker playing fantasy games, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I think Mike Tyson would have beat Muhammad Ali face having ass, man. But, uh, We were just talking about boxing in general. And I'm going to tell you what I don't like about boxing. Talking to people about boxing. If you're not a real boxing fan. You basically going to repeat all that shit you've been seeing other niggas uh, say. You know what I'm talking about? And I kind of get tired of them making Canelo that <laughs> that important, bro. And, he, and my partner was talking about Canelo. Now, look. Uh, I'm going to give him his props. He could fight a little bit. He could crack. And I don't I don't think Terrence Crawford could beat him. I don't think a lot of motherfuckers could beat uh I think that Canelo is going to get beat up there with B-Ball and them. I think them the, uh, the people that's going to uh, bust him up a little bit. But I, I don't think uh, maybe David Morrell. You know what I'm talking about? I think David Morrell is a harder fight for Canelo than David Benavidez, actually. You know what I'm talking about? But I think one of them motherfuckers might give him some problems. But, uh... Like, I hate that they just try to make Canelo to all... Like, there's so many... To me, uh, this is just to me a boxing fan, bro. Uh... I want to see Boots and Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm talking about? That's the fight I want to see. Shakur and Tank. That's the fight I want to see. I don't really care about Benavidez and Canelo. I'm going to tell you all that. And I've been saying this for years, not just now, bro. I've been telling everybody in the world. Uh, I remember because I was uh, my man Boss Hog channel. When he got, got beat by b you know what I'm talking about? Shout out, Boss Hall. Uh, like, everybody was teasing him. And I was like, man, everybody teasing Canelo. But I still don't think nobody at 154 uh, down there could beat Canelo. Like, 168 or wherever the fuck he at. I still don't think none of them dudes could beat Canelo. I, I don't. You know what I'm talking about? But everybody was laughing at him and teasing him and shit, talking about they knew it. And all them other people was, uh, but I don't think none of them dudes down there beat Canelo. But at the same time, I, I'm not really high on Canelo like that. I hate that they act like, you know what I'm talking about? Like everybody just running around, that's the money fight. Like, I really think you could make, uh, I don't want to say you could freeze Canelo out because he probably got all the connections and all the background shit and shit. But like, you could just make other fights, bro. You just don't have to sit around and wait for Canelo. Y'all don't have to sit around and just beg that nigga to fight. That's the same kind of shit I don't really be liking. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you need that nigga like you don't. You don't. And that's what's kind of fucked up by not giving Boots a chance. Because, like, Canelo on his way out of here, bruh. And if you just look at it, I think it's Boots and Tank. 
maybe Shakur if he beating me on talking about. But one of them three got the uh I don't know about Shakur, just be uh, if he beat Tank, he'll have a whole another they'll look at him a whole other way though. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, if he beat Tank, he'll be looked at way different. You know what I'm talking about? They ain't gonna be calling him the born fighter no more and all that shit. They everybody gonna jump on his nuts and act like they was down with him from the beginning. They know he could do it, you know what I'm talking about? There's always them motherfuckers. Because you probably got some kind of, uh, probably nephew fans, Devin fans, or some other kind of fans just waiting for Tank to lose. And that's what's cold about that shit. Like, if you like boxing, you should just respect everybody for their craft, you know what I'm talking about? You might not like a motherfucker based on the way they is or something that they might rub you wrong. I could get that. Like, you'd be like, man, this nigga just, he rubs me wrong. But for the most part, bro, you should just respect the craft and just like a nigga get down, you know what I'm talking about? If a nigga can fight, a nigga can fight. You know what I'm talking about? Even if he could beat your fighter, nigga, get down. But it's like we do this shit just like we do everything else and personalize it. It's like we make the fighter our our personal own like we do with God. Now they are fighter. You know what I'm talking about? They are fighter. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Shit like that. And we just, uh, yeah, we just take that shit everywhere. But I don't be liking that about Canelo because they don't never bring up Canelo cheated. You know what I'm talking about? They act like that nigga never popped dirty. Just hell of shit. They act like that nigga didn't pick and choose and just. And I was thinking in my head, bro. And um, cause I just don't unless I Canelo just get old, but I don't really see nobody hurting. But like now I think about it, man. Canelo probably was off steroids when he fought Triple G. On some real shit. You know, some real shit. A man might have been off steroids when he fought Triple G. I ain't bullshitting with you. Because he already got popped dirty. You know what I'm talking about? And Canelo, it seemed like he was running from Triple G for a minute. I ain't bullshitting with you. So he might have been off them steroids when he uh, fought Triple G. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, Triple G, uh, I don't know, that's just arguable. You know what I'm talking about? But there's so many fights you could make, bro. I just hate that motherfuckers act like you got to fight Canelo or just the whole boxing world got to wait. Like, if it ain't a Canelo fight, it ain't going to be no good fight, man. You can make hella little good-ass fights. Just let everybody fight everybody. But, yeah, they act like Canelo ain't dirty. They just do to certain fighters a certain way. Just like Lomachenko. They still trying to announce that nigga undefeated. They still trying to, like, <laughs> they trying to talk you into making this nigga greater than he is. You know what I'm talking about? And they good for that shit. But, uh, because my partner, he was, uh, he told me I was hating on Terrence Crawford. And once again, bro, I don't want Bud to lose. You know what I'm talking about? If you ask me, this is the fight right here. Bud can't lose. Out of every motherfucking fight, that's why I wish he would just fight Boots. Give that nigga a shot, whether you win or lose. Because this is the fight right here. Terrence Crawford can't lose. You're going to say, why he can't lose this fight right here? Because you got to realize, like, people who not really into boxing, don't nobody really know who Marjorie Moff is. You know what I'm talking about? So the, the, the world is just looking at Madrimov as a nobody. You get what I'm saying? So if Terrence Crawford gets beat by this motherfucker right here, he going to get ridiculed and criticized like never before. Bro, I'm bullshitting. I ain't no bullshitting with you. Because the rest of the world don't know who this dude is anyway. So it's going to be perceived like he just got beat by a nobody with 10 fights, bro, if he lose. I'm telling you, everybody going to tease him. The Errol Spence fans going to be driving the bus. They're going to act like somehow if Terrence Crawford lose this fight, if somehow Errol Spencer is going to get a win in that fight that they had, they're going to find out how to get Errol Spencer victory. Uh, is that they're going to act like Terrence Crawford could never fight. He should have never been on the pound for pound list. And that they just going to, they going to, like, this is the fight I think Terrence Crawford can't lose. I think if he loses this fight right here, he gets ridiculed like none another. You know what I'm talking about? He'll be lucky to get another fight again, man. A big fight. I ain't bullshitting with you. I am not bullshitting with you, and uh, especially if he loses the way I, I if he loses, I, I just see him losing, in, <clears throat> if he loses, I see him losing in embarrassing fashion, not saying he ain't good or nothing like that, he might have just, uh, we don't know yet, you know what I'm talking about, they got a fight, he might go out there and look like he did in Spence, you know what I'm talking about, and then he ready, uh, because that's what's fucked up. If he loses this fight, he gonna get all the motherfucking flack in the world. And then if he win this motherfucker in dominating fashion, he was supposed to because the dude only had 10 fights. I just believe if he win this motherfucking fight, he should get his credit, bro. That's what I believe. I believe he should get his credit. 
Just like you're going to give him all the flack if he lose. I believe he should get all that credit if he win. You know what I'm talking about? Because we got a way of uh, discrediting people's victories. We just do. And even though, because I say, man, Earl just didn't look right, right? And even though you still can't use that as no excuse. You can't say, man, he was Drake Wade. Or, man, he got his ass whooped whenever he was. He got his ass whooped on that night. He didn't bring it. So you just got to accept that. You know what I'm talking about? You can't sit there and, and give yourself, and that's what we do as people. We give ourselves a reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like we got to give ourselves a I don't know. Like you just can't believe it. You got to give, give yourself a reason why a motherfucker lost. You know what I mean? But uh, he was still, he, he was trying to act like I was trying to, uh, because if you tell a motherfucker that, uh, <clears throat> even with Nephew, when he just fought Ryan Garcia before all the bullshit, I was telling people like, man, uh, I was just like, I didn't like that fight for Nephew. I didn't. They was too familiar with each other. It wouldn't. It ain't even that I think Ryan Garcia is better than Nephew. I just knew that fight was going to be harder than a lot of people thought. You know what I'm talking about? Then when he came in there with that, that white trick, I told him, I said, man, that reminded me of that shit with uh, Castile and Diego Corrales. It reminded me of the same shit. I promise you. Then I start, I start feeling a little funny right then. That's when I really started to feel a little funny. Just like the Terrence Crawford in that uh, uh, Spence fight, right? <clears throat> I really thought Spence was going to dog Terrence Crawford. I thought that... Uh, the shit that happened to Spence, I kind of felt like Spence was going to do that to Crawford, right? This is how I was feeling leading up to the fight. Then I talked to my daddy because my daddy out there, right? And my daddy was telling me that uh, his partner out there that be fucking with Spence and him, that be in their gyms and shit, he said his uh, Spence partner thought he me was like, man, I'm going for my man Earl, but man... He just look worried or something, something about him, man. The man act like he's scared or something like that. When my daddy told me that, or not scared, but just like worried. Like it was like it was just something awful about him. I start worrying about that fight a little bit. I had a funny feeling that, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I stopped being so confident in my, uh, what I thought was going to happen. But yeah, just like this fight right here, that's why, I, and once again, I want Bud to win. <laughs> I don't want Bud to lose. Do you get what I'm saying? The way I see it, you don't have to agree with me. I just think if Terrence Crawford can't hurt this dude or stun him, like, you got to at least be able to hit him hard enough to get his respect to where, like, you can hit him and stun him and, like, so you can hit him, so you can get on him with the rest of them combinations. If you can't at least do that, you finna be in trouble. Because if that dude could just walk through Terrence Crawford punches, he gonna walk through that shit, bread of land, that shit he got. I'm telling you. And I don't know if, uh, uh, man, I don't know if Terrence Crawford, man, uh, could withstand them them bombs for no twelve rounds, bro. Cause that'd be a fight. He he would his defense would have to be the best. Like he would have to not get hit by this dude, bro. And I just don't see that happening because even when um, cause Terrence Crawford just gets hit, and he one of them dudes like when you crack him, he just got that shit in him to where he want to get his lick back, and like. That's dangerous in this fight right here, man. You don't really want to try, you know. You don't really want to try, you know, punches with this dude like that, man. Because this dude could crack, and he's looking to crack you. And the thing that really, uh, I told you, one of the things that's always worried me before a fight is, like, the punch you get hit with is the other dude's best punch. And, uh, Terrence Crawford always get hit with them punches that that dude throw. And that dude got a, he got like a Thor punch, man. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga throw that thing, that thing be on a volleyball string, man. That nigga come from way back here with it, you know what I'm talking about? He got a call overhand, he got the, he just got some weird looking shit. You know what I'm talking about? And if you just go look at that nigga, you're going to see like he's slow and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? Or you going to think he's slow. Awkward, clumsy a little bit. You're you going to see all that shit. So, like, your eyes are going to tell you that Terrence Crawford going to be able to take advantage of all this shit, which he should be able to. But it's like, man, I think it's just going to matter. I think it's just going to come down. Can Bud hurt that dude? Will his power translate to 154? And if it does, he should be all right on some real shit. 
But if it don't, he gonna be in a real of trouble, folks. He gonna be in a real of trouble. Because although he, he gonna be faster than dude, or he should be, and he should be able to, uh, like, piece dude up and get out the way and shit, you still gonna hit. Because when motherfuckers be talking about, like, like, uh, like Mayweather, bruh, like, Motherfuckers just don't have that type of defense, bro. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga was a a defensive technician, bro. You get what I'm saying? That man had reflexes. Just, he, he had everything you needed. You know what I'm talking about? To fight the way he did. But motherfuckers be like... Uh, I mean, Terrence Crawford, he, he's shown good defense at times. You know what I'm talking about? He's shown excellent defense at times, bro. But once again, it's going to matter on what kind of shit. But he gets hit a lot too, folks. You know what I'm talking about? And if you go back to watch his fights, bruh, it'd be kind of like in the earlier rounds, just like all them niggas do. That'd be uh, take a few rounds to download what you doing, you know what I'm talking about, and all that shit. But, like, if you look at a lot of his fights, man, in the earlier rounds, motherfuckers be getting some shit off on him. You know what I'm talking about? I don't think this one of them fights where he could let a motherfucker get some shit off on him. You know what I'm talking about? Don't you don't want to get hurt by this dude, man? Because if this dude, like I said, dude, a pretty good finisher himself, bro, and if he hurt him, but the uh, the two things that worry me the most, but we gonna have to see on fight night. Like I said, I think the uh, deciding factor gonna be if Terrence Crawford could hurt him or not. Because if he could hurt him, he should be able to hit him more times than dude able to hit him. You get what I'm saying? So if he could hurt him, he should be able to do good. But if he can't hurt him, bro, he, he it's gonna be a problem. I'm telling you now, it's gonna be a problem. And the two things that worry me is the punch Terrence Crawford always get hit with. This dude got an excellent one. You know what I'm talking about? And when you see dude talking shit, it's almost like uh, I used to feel about Nephew and Tank. It's like you could tell dude think he could win. He think he could whoop him. You know what I'm talking about? And when you got that confidence, like when you not even shaking a little bit, that's always in your favor. Where you ain't even worried about a motherfucker, bro. Like, you really think, like, oh, this nigga thinks something sweet. Bro, I'm finna get this nigga. Like, dude seem like he got a lot of confidence. You know what I'm talking about? And that's something that worried me about this fight. But I think it's just gonna be determined on if, uh... The motherfucker said, uh... Bro, you don't... I don't think uh, Terrence Crawford could beat Canelo, bro. I think Canelo is way too big for Terrence Crawford, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Now, if he made Canelo come down to 154, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Or, uh, you know what I'm talking about? A catch weight or something, man. I think he might have more action than going up to 168, folks. He gonna be way too small, folks. And just like I said, bruh, if you ever notice, uh, check out that Jermail Charlo and Cotto fight. Now, to go check out the uh, Canelo and McGill fight, the last fight he just had. And watch how Canelo, he hit him with some good shots and shit. But notice how he kind of carried the young lad. You know what I'm talking about? He didn't put it on him too bad. You know what I'm talking about? He made sure he hit him with the uppercut. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? But he, he kind of carried the young pup. He didn't do him that bad. You know what I'm talking about? It was honor amongst that fight. Go watch that Canelo-Charlo fight. He was trying to kill that nigga. I ain't seen Canelo come out like that in uh, years. He was trying to kill that nigga, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, he was trying to kill Charlo. So just think of Canelo, fuck around. Man, he gonna try to kill Terrence Crawford early, bruh. He gonna try to knock Terrence Crawford out in under six rounds, bruh. He is. He gonna try to kill that nigga. He gonna try to destroy that nigga. I ain't bullshitting with you. He gonna try to destroy him. Hella quick. That'd be like uh that'd damn near be like Canelo get back from Mayweather beating his ass. I ain't bullshitting with you. I don't think I think that'd be a bad move for uh Terrence Crawford. I think Terrence Crawford would get more respect, more uh fame and everything if he fought boots. I do. And I think that'd just be a better fight for black people as a whole. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I just do. I think that'd be for us. You know what I'm talking about? That'd be something for us. Like when Hagler and them used to get down. You know what I'm talking about? Her and Sugar Ray Leonard and them. You know what I'm talking about? For real. 
I think that'll be a more of a treat for uh, for black people because that's the best fight for uh, to me right now. I don't have no interest really in seeing Canelo uh, and Benavidez. I don't think Benavidez could beat Canelo, bro. And everybody thinks that Benavidez like they think Canelo is scared of Benavidez, and I don't. I don't think it's that. I think Canelo is just an asshole. You know what I'm talking about? I think it'd be more over the money. I don't really think nobody that box be scared of nobody. I think niggas just be playing big me when they get a chance. Like, when you, what they say, the A side and the B side. I think niggas just be in there really trying to uh, dictate who get paid and who don't. You know what I'm talking about? So I think Canelo, because like David Benavidez, I think Canelo think that nigga disrespectful because he be talking shit. You know how Canelo be wanting you to come with honor and kiss his ass and all that shit if you want pay that. You know what I'm talking about? He be wanting you to come around there real modest and shit. You know what I'm talking about? To kiss his ass and all that honor. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like he doing you a favor. You know what I'm talking about? And Benavidez be talking shit. So I think that's why <clears throat> I think uh, Canelo beat the shit out of Benavidez, though. I do. And you know what? I think that's the one time you'll see Canelo try to beat the shit out of another Mexican. I think he'll uh, treat, like, David Benavidez, I think he'll do him like he would fight a black person and just come out and get on his ass, bro, I do. Because I don't think Canelo really liked Benavidez. I don't. I just think he's trying to get a lot of money to fight him. Because I think he, uh, he think people want to see that fight more than they want to see it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's what I think. And for some reason right now, Terrence Crawford and Canelo would be a better, uh, a bigger fight than uh, Canelo and Benavidez, uh, Benavidez in the boxing world. I don't even want to see that shit. I don't. I don't even want to see that nigga lose to Canelo. I don't. If he lose, I'd rather see him lose the boots. Like I said, if he lost the boots, I think he'd get more respect and shit than if he went to uh, fight Canelo. Because just because it was Canelo, they they going to do him like they did nephew. They're going to tease him and shit. They're gonna be, that's why I think Terrence Crawford really needs to win this fight right here. I think this is the fight he can't lose on some real shit. Because if he loses this fight, you got to uh, remember now, it ain't just boxing fans, the uh, true hard boxing fans no more and shit. You got more of these casual people. You got more of these internet people and shit. Uh, the Twitter people and shit. It ain't really the people that just really got the love for the sport. And it seemed like the outside, all that uh, social media influence and shit, it seemed like they got more of a voice in boxing than the real, the real core, hardcore people that got to do with the sport now. You get what I'm saying? So it's like whatever narrative they create is the one that the world going to go on. You know what I'm talking about? Just like they did nephew. On some real shit. So you got to realize the world, they looking at Madrimoff like he's a nobody. They don't even understand this is a dangerous ass fight for Bush. You know what I'm talking about? Like they, they just think, because they seen him beat Spence the way he did. So in their mind, they just, like, I told you, they didn't get Bud some kind of Greek power, his fans. Like, he could just do all this, and he going to be the best counterpuncher. I mean, it's good, and Bud good, bro. But, like, it just all depends on that night. You know what I'm talking about? You don't never know what's going to happen on that night. You don't. <clears throat> That's why you just got to watch people fight. You could think who going to win. You could think whoever going to win, bro. It don't mean it's going to go like that. That's why they fight. But it's a bunch of good fights out there, man. It is. All my got to do is Michael. Hopefully we'll get to that. But, like, uh, I like Bud. I like all the fighters, bro, down there. You know what I'm talking about? But, I'm, uh, like, Canelo is like Canelo and Lomachenko, they, to me, and Tyson Fury. It's like, y'all give them the pass and Teofimo Lopez. Like, our black fighters, bro, we don't get passes like that. We don't. Teofimo Lopez just got lumped the fuck up by a nigga that had like eight losses. Nobody heard about was on that nigga ass all night. He couldn't cut off the ring. You know what I'm talking about? Getting his ass whooped. Oh, I ain't going to say he was getting his ass whooped, but he was getting touched. He was winning the fight, but he was getting touched all night. <clears throat> they didn't tease him. He didn't have no memes of his shit looking like, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like elf cookies. It wasn't no memes. They didn't tease him, bro. They didn't say that fight was boring and it went 12 rounds. They didn't say none of that, bro. They still celebrate that nigga like the, the star that he ain't. You know what I'm talking about? They still sit right there and, and celebrated that nigga, bro. And what I noticed about Tiafimo Lopez, how you know the fix being, I don't know who got him, Bob Aram or something. But Tiafimo Lopez, I only watched two or three fights where this nigga been getting beat to death. And at the end of the fight, 
he get the uh, decision on the scorecard. I ain't bullshitting with you. I done seen that nigga lose to Ortiz, nigga, and that San Martin, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? And San Martin dropped him. You know what I'm talking about? And that nigga don't even hit hard. And he dropped him. But like I said, bro, Tiafimo Lopez, I think he got some, uh, you know how to fix being with him. All oh, Tiafimo Lopez could be losing a whole fight. All he got to do is hit you with that power hook in the 10th or the 11th round. And if the judge, if the judge see him connect that motherfucker by around the 10th or if he can hit you with that motherfucker 10th, 11th round, he automatically going to win the fight. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about when he go to the scorecards. All he got to do is find a way to hit you with that uh, that hook in the 10th round. It don't matter how many rounds you lost before that. He going to get around to that 10th round. He gonna, you know what I'm talking about? He going to leap lunge in. He going to hit you with that hook. He, gonna be, he might drop you with that motherfucker, but as soon as you react to that motherfucker, uh, that automatically won them to fight. I ain't bullshitting with you. If he wouldn't have got dropped, that would have won him the Cambosis fight. It was too much, though. He was down too much early. Cambosis wound that motherfucker up on him, too, and ran him right into it. Wham! That was a hard-ass punch Cambosis was through. That was one of them looping. That, that shot right there, right? That's that motherfucker Terrence Crawford get hit with. I ain't bullshitting with you. That motherfucking punch right there. And the way Brett throw that motherfucking awkward, folks. I can't call it. The best, uh, the remind me of is like Madonna. I heard somebody else compare that nigga to Triple G. I think they just do that because the nigga that, uh, you was slob, whatever that shit is. I think they just do that because there is, he ain't really no, uh, he don't really fight like Triple G. I heard somebody say Kazagi. <clears throat> ain't really like that's a better comparison though. That's a way better comparison than Triple G. But uh, just that punch you throw. Like he don't even fight like Madonna, but that's just Madonna used to punch like that in a weird ass way to me. He used to throw punches. I don't know looping weird ass punches that get around your shit and ring your motherfucking bell. But uh. I think this is the fight Bud can't lose. You know what I'm talking about? This is the fight right here. If that shit go bad, he gonna, uh, they gonna fuck him off. The Aero Spence fans gonna be leading the parade. And um, they just gonna down him. They gonna act like he could never fight. He should have never been on the pound for pound list. The win over Aero Spence was a fluke. Somehow Aero Spence gonna get a victory if Terrence Crawford lose. I swear to God, somehow. Aero Spence gonna get a victory if Terrence Crawford and that's crazy how we get today as boxing fans, bro. Like, uh, you should just want to see the best fights, like I said, folks. And it'd be like, if a nigga fuck around and beat your dude, like, uh, it's almost like the Warriors, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The Warriors been eliminated your team. Now you just hate the Warriors. So whoever they play, you they fan now. Now you a Portland fan. You know what I'm talking about? They didn't beat them. Now you a OKC. It's like whoever played the Warriors, that's who you, that's who you going for. Uh, and that shit crazy. Y'all act like you can't like two or three, four, five. You act like you can't like all the fighters. Y'all act like it's got to be a separation. That's why this social media shit, they kind of uh, fuck boxing up, especially for the young pups. Because they be tuned in, going back and forth and all that shit. But, like, it was just better when niggas was just boxing. And you couldn't be on Twitter and just saying shit every day. And, you know what I'm talking about? All that shit, it was just better when... You, you'll see each other in the ring and shit. Just make the fight happen. It was better then. Because all that social media shit, that shit ain't nothing but like a scene out of Harlem Nights anyway, ain't it? You sit there, you watching these niggas going back and forth. They got your mouth, they got your mouth watering for some motherfucking action, don't they? Ugh! You don't never see that fight. Niggas just on there arguing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, they, you, 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 you following that Twitter beef, though, you know what I'm talking about? You following that social media beef, oh, they on there going at it, ain't they? You know what I'm talking about? Got your mouth watering for some action. You thinking the niggas don't even fight. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? That's just all that fluff. But, uh, if you ask me, I say Tank and Shakur and, uh, Boots and Crawford, it's the best fight for me and the fights I want to see. I ain't really interested in David Benavidez and um, Canelo. I don't really think nobody beat Canelo at 168. I think if anybody had action, it would be uh, David Morrell, actually. 
but I don't know that either. You know what I'm talking about? That's just that's just me thinking. I think he'll be about the only one. But Canelo getting up there too. He getting oh, I just don't because uh, everybody talking about how hard Benavidez hit, and I don't even think Benavidez. You know when I knew Canelo would beat the shit out of Benavidez, I bullshit you not. <clears throat> that Caleb Plant fight. When I seen him fight Caleb Plant, I was like, nah. No. No. And I'm telling you, I think Canelo would execute his plan that he thought he was going to execute on b -Wall. Because they were being, being a V-Bass, got that long-ass torso. You know what I'm talking about? Canelo gonna be tearing their body up. Canelo will be able to hit that nigga in the arm and make his arms tired. He would. But the only shot you got at is a. Uh, <clears throat> like, I don't just see nobody hurting Canelo. I don't. I seen Canelo hurt one time. I told you. That was by Cotto, brother. I ain't seen uh, Canelo hurt since. That was the only time I seen Canelo wibble wobble a little bit. And I just don't see nobody hurting Canelo. I think I seen Triple G. Get that nigga attention. You know what I'm talking about? Canelo got chin, though, bro. Just like Tank. Tank got chin, bro. I just don't see you hurting him. I see you, I like, I see you hurting them. You have a better chance of hurting both of them niggas to the body. I think then you got hurting them niggas and uh, hitting them niggas on their jaw. Because both of them niggas got chin. Them niggas could absorb that shit. They can. And then you got to look. Canelo been in there with Triple G. B-Wall. Been the B-Wall cracking. You know what I'm talking about? Like, he been up in there with them big, so, like, I just don't see nobody, uh, I don't see nobody that little, uh, I mean, at them little ways, I don't see them being able to pack a punch to her Canelo. You know what I'm talking about? And I think people think <clears throat> that David Benavidez would be able to hurt. I think they think David Benavidez would be able to throw all the flashy combinations and shit. I think they, <laughs> I think they think that, you know what I'm talking about? I think David Benavidez to get stopped fucking with Canelo. I ain't bullshitting with you. I think David Benavidez to get stopped fucking with Canelo. I do. And I think Canelo will go out his way to stop David Benavidez. Just like if he fought Crawford or uh Yeah, I think he gonna go he gonna he gonna try to beat Crawford to duck. I don't even like I don't even know why Crawford and them chasing that fight. I mean I know why, nigga, that's the biggest for some reason, the biggest money fight, man. That shit crazy. Like, the way I think is like, uh, because y'all see how they promote Canelo, even though he cheated, nigga, you know what I'm talking about? It don't matter. Just like Lomachenko, they ain't mentioned Clarissa Shields, two gold medals yet. You know what I'm talking about? Lomachenko, <laughs> he the only one to get these gold medals mentioned. I don't even know if he had gold. He might have had a silver or something. I think they was gold. You know what I'm talking about? It's just pick and choose, though. It is. But I, I don't know why they just won't change the landscape. You know what I'm talking about? Take the boost fight. You know what I'm talking about? All you niggas just start fighting each other. Nigga, keep the money in house. Get your people. Fuck with your people. You know what I'm talking about? Fuck letting uh, Canelo like run the, the, the boxing shit. You know what I'm talking about? Really? And right now, nigga, Tank got action. He do. Because really... He the most exciting motherfucker right now. He the motherfucker right now, bro. And he could be fighting anybody, bro. They gonna pay to see Tank. Cause he around here, man, with that uh <laughs> he around here with that motherfucking sledgehammer. Put motherfuckers to sleep. And it's just like you you ain't even watching the fight. You just know that sledgehammer coming. You know what I'm talking about? So you just sitting there, you ain't even Tripping off who he fighting or nothing. You just know this nigga going to be able to hit him with that sludge hammer. You know what I'm talking about? But, uh, I just say change the landscape, bro. Stop making that nigga the most important motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Especially when y'all, when you, when you get the chance and you be having the momentum, that's the time you, uh, you know what I'm talking about? And on the real. That's one thing they got to say about Earl Spence. Because they ain't even want to get them niggas that fight. That's some real shit. So, like... Uh, that nigga can don't even get credit for keeping the game solid. You know what 
know what I'm talking about? He get a lot of flack and all that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? About a bunch of that other shit. But they won't even throw in there that he kept the game solid. And if more motherfuckers did that, bruh. I don't know. It just seemed like y'all could, uh. It just seemed to me like Canelo, uh. Wouldn't be the most important motherfucker. Because we got some bad motherfuckers. You feel what I'm saying? Tank one of them. We got some bad motherfuckers. But it seemed like they on their way to being the, uh. To me, it seemed like one of them three is on their way because if you just trip off of it, the stars that we do got, even Errol Spence, a lot of them niggas is old, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? These niggas really ain't young, folks. These niggas already like 36, 35 and shit. These niggas, you know what I'm talking about? It's really your nephew and uh, Tank getting up there. I think Tank 30-something, you know what I'm talking about? But he's still young. He, he got a, a, a few more good years, you know what I'm talking about, if he want to stay around. But, uh... You know what I'm talking about? A lot of them niggas old. So it's like Boots and, um, you know what I'm talking about? The next generation. It's like it, it, it's on them, all them little nephews, Keyshawn, Johnson, Shoo Shoo and them, Adula Mason, like all them little nephews. Martell. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like they next. Because Terrence Crawford and them, they, uh, I ain't going to say they got one foot on the door. But they got both feet by that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? If, it ain't, if one ain't outside that motherfucker, both feet right there by that motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Them niggas getting kind of old. You ain't going to... Fool, them fools only got a few more years. So I guess I do get it. But, uh... Hey, yo, man, the fight going to be interesting. I hope he wins. Because like I said, just the fight, I don't, I don't think he could afford to lose. Because he going to get blasted. Because like I said, the rest of the world, they don't even know who the fuck dude is. So if he do get beat... Because if he get beat, it will be in embarrassing fashion. You know what I'm talking about? So if he do get beat, they just going to tease him and shit and act like he got beat by a nobody not even understanding boxing. And somehow, uh, Errol Spence going to, uh, get a victory somehow and, uh, they going to be teasing him. I said, he never should have been on the pound for pound and I knew it and everybody going to be, uh, talking about because I told you, uh, the closer we get to this fight, I'm starting to see more Errol Spence fans and shit making predictions and shit that Terrence Crawford's in trouble, you know what I'm talking about? And that's what I didn't get right there, bro, because if you think Terrence Crawford could beat Canelo, you shouldn't even be worried about this fight. You shouldn't. If you actually think Terrence Crawford could beat Canelo, then Madrimoff is nothing, you know what I'm talking about? But I, I, I don't want him to lose to Madrimoff, bro, I don't. I don't. You know what I'm talking about? And I think this is the fight he can't afford to lose. Because like I said, you got more social media influence and shit on shit now. So, man, if that nigga loses this fight, they going to tease that. I'm telling you, Errol, uh, Errol Spence fans going to be driving the bus. Because I'm starting to see more of their channels trying to predict the upset. And the Terrence Crawford lose, man. You know how many motherfuckers are going to be around here talking about, nigga, I told you, Terrence Crawford, whoop, he's slow, and the Errol Spence fight was a fluke. You know what I'm talking about? You know how they going to have so many narratives on that shit. I, I don't even want to see that shit, bro. That shit going to give you a headache. It's going to be just like the nephew shit all over again. Like I said, for some reason, and this go for the rural, worldwide, man, boxing talk. They they teach you more or less to be like a, they teach you to be dick ridative, you know what I'm talking about? They really teach you not to be your own person. Like I'm telling you, bro, it's like a, a female ass. You know how like the old ladies used to uh. Just gather up and shit, and that's how the fan base is getting. That's how everything is getting. So you just done fell in love with your favorite fighter and shit, and you just sat over here and bonded with a bunch of these other fans, and y'all just sitting around teasing other. It's real childish, you know what I'm talking about? So now here you come with your bias, and you it's just weird, bro. It ain't boxing no more, you know what I'm talking about? It's kid game, just like most of the world is. It's some real shit. But, uh, man, I love boxing, boxing talk. <clears throat> they got hella good fights on that uh, fight card. It should be a good fight uh, week coming up. I ain't bullshitting with you. But, uh, 
I just like boxing. I just like getting down. I, don't, I told you my favorite fighter is uh, nephew Devin Haney. But some of my favorite fighters was Holyfield, nigga, Diego Corrales, Andre Ward. Uh, I don't know. I just like boxing. You know what I'm talking about? I do. I just like boxing. I don't like the way boxing is covered, though. Because they just going to come tell your ass anything, bruh. I ain't bullshitting with you. They just gonna come tell your ass anything. They gonna uh, <clears throat> they gonna make it seem like one nigga ain't got a chin. They gonna make it seem like the other nigga undefeated when he got three losses. It's just gonna be everything. They gonna act like the steroids didn't matter. You know what I'm talking about? When you keep getting knocked down and getting up, they gonna act like you ain't got no chin. <clears throat> when Tyson Fury keep getting knocked down and every motherfucker uh, fucking fight they gonna call, they gonna say he got gall. He the Undertaker. Just look how he uh, overcomes adversity and all that shit. You know what I'm talking about? But you ain't going to. That's why I said, bro, when uh, anytime a black person do something, they ain't gonna, uh, you ain't going to get credit for it. You got to be white or essay or something, Chinese or something. You know what I mean? And um, that's when you're going to get credit. That's when they're going to look at it different. For real. They gonna talk you in a Lomachenko is one of the best fighters you just a uh, a generational talent. You know what I'm talking about? Something you ain't never seen before. And you ain't even seen this nigga win a big fight before. You done seen this nigga lose every big fight he done had. Unless you uh call Cambosa's a big fight. But you ain't never seen that nigga win no big fight. You know what I'm talking about? On top of that, you remember when a nigga, uh, when he lost his nephew, he went and cried and shit? They act like that was, a uh, like, heartfelt. Everybody felt him. Now, let nephew have lost and been in the back crying. It would have been a meme. It would have been looked at as different. It wouldn't have been heartfelt. <sighs> we something straight out of comic book. I ain't bullshitting with you. Boxing talk. But we pick and choose. Just like that Clarissa Shield shit. If that was the bitch, bitch, Chris, please, bruh. That bitch would have superseded Mike Tyson, Sugar Ray Leonard. You know what I'm talking about? Roberto Duran, you know what I'm talking about? Julio Cesar Chavez, that bitch would have surpassed. He would have just been the greatest boxer, you know what I'm talking about? Of all time. I ain't bullshitting with you. So you just got to, uh, I don't know, that's the way this shit is. But I wish we, as boxing fans, would stop trying to hide the fighters and talk against the fight. It seemed like you should want to promote the fight. You shouldn't just want to argue in the comments telling your side why your people should win and how they would uh, step to the side and hit your person with a uh, four-punch combination. Then your person wouldn't have been able to do nothing. Then they would have, uh, they would, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, he would have circled around to the left again, you know what I'm talking about, instead of all that. Well, I don't know why we just don't call for the fight. It seemed like that would be the right thing to do. Just call for the fight. And let the people fight. And stop telling y'all everybody got to uh, fight Canelo. You know what I'm talking about? I keep telling you, man, I say let Canelo fight anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's the biggest fight on the <laughs> That's the biggest fight to make him boxing, bro. I say you let Canelo fight anyway, man. That is the biggest because uh, apparently them two faces of boxing. You know what I'm talking about? Right there on the pound for pound list. You know what I'm talking about? I say we start uh, calling for Canelo to fight anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he on his way to 168 anyway. <laughs> God damn, nigga. God damn, man. This shit here, man. I ain't bullshitting with you. But yeah, man, uh, I hope Bud win this fight. And I say, this is the fight I don't think Bud can lose. You know what I'm talking about? If he loses this fight right here, bro, they gonna act, it's going to be the worst one ever. Like I said, don't nobody even know who Marriage Moff is. So it's just going to make that just that much more. It's going to put that much more on it. Because they're going to act like he just got beat by nobody. And somehow Errol Spence going to get a victory. <laughs> Still, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. But, uh. Hopefully, Bud could hurt, dude. If his power translate, he should be all right. But if that power don't translate, man, it's going to be a long, uh, it's going to be a fucked up night for Bud. You know what I'm talking about? But what do I know? Only you. 
could perform, uh, could prevent forest fires. Only you, you know what I'm talking about, and with that one right there, if you don't remember nothing else, always remember. It don't cost nothing. This is show a little bit of that love.